This is non-calculator question number 16. College Board gives us an equation with a power of a and asks for positive integers a and b. What's one possible value of b? Well, an easy way to do exponents is if the exponent is 1. So I'm going to take b equals 4 and see if I can get that to work. Then a to the 4 over 4 is a to the 1, and that is just a, and I want that to be 16. So b equals 4, a equals 16 works, and they're asking for a value of b. I would grid in 4. Alternatively, I could have said, well, if b is h, then a to the 8 over 4 is a squared, because 16 is a perfect square. So a equals 4, and 4 squared equals 16. That does work. They're asking for b, the numerator and the exponent, so I would choose h. There's other values that could work. I could have a square root be 16, or a fourth root be 16. I don't want to work out what a would be in those cases, although we could do it without a calculator. It just takes more time than we want to spend. In any case, College Board often asks you exponent problems. If you wanted to solve this algebraically rather than guess and check, I have a to the b over 4 equals 16. a to the b over 4 equals 2 to the 4. So if b over 4, if a equals 2, and b over 4 equals 4, then multiplying both sides by 4, I get b equals 16. Alternatively, 16 is 4 squared. So if a equals 4, that gives me 4 to the b over 4 equals 4 squared, so b over 4 equals 2. Multiplying both sides by 4, I get b equals 8. And I could have done that other ways. For example, writing this as 16 to the 1. In any case, there's several ways of solving this. As long as you're comfortable with exponent rules and a college board test your exponent rules very often, you'll be fine on this question. Come back soon for my next math video with math is always more.